Shalom Aleichem, and welcome, dear listener. Today, we delve into the very heart of Shabbat, the day of rest, as we explore one of its central commandments, the prohibition of Melakai. The term Melashot refers to the 39 categories of work forbidden on Shabbat. These are not just physical activities, but creative actions that shape or alter the natural world. One of these melakot is tofa, which means sewing. However, in the broader sense, it includes any action that combines two previously separate entities into one, such as gluing paper or making a salad. On Shabbat, we abstain from these activities to remember and honor the creation narrative when GD ceased from all work on the seventh day. But it's not just about abstinence. It's about embracing peace and unity. By refraining from combining separate entities, we're symbolically embracing the wholeness and unity of creation, just as it was after G.D. finished creating the world. In essence, we're saying, the world is perfect just as it is, and there's no need for us to change or improve anything. This is a powerful lesson in acceptance and contentment, one that we can take with us throughout the week. It teaches us to appreciate the world as it is, to find peace in our lives, and to see the inherent unity in all of creation. Remember, each melasha is not just a prohibition, but a gateway to a deeper understanding of Shabbat and our relationship with the divine. So, as we welcome the Shabbat Queen this week, let's remember to honor her by refraining from melakot, and by embracing the peace, unity, and contentment they symbolize. This podcast was produced and sponsored by Daniel O'Ranoff.